In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use an amazing AI tool to take our screenshots to realistic renders, how we can edit existing renders with just a text prompt, and how we can upscale and enhance images in just one click. Okay, so right here we have render. And what we can do here, we have a few options. So we have the 3D base to render, where basically you can just go ahead and upload a screenshot from SketchUp. So once we upload this, we can just type in um, contemporary modern home with uh, continental climate uh, vegetation, sunny or sunset mood. Okay. And then we can keep basically here in the image strength. This basically shows how much we wanted uh, to keep the structure of the actual home. So we're going to increase this the creativity. We're going to keep it the same. And we can also add more references. Uh, so for a reference, I can go ahead and upload an image, for example, that I found online that might fit well the mood that we're going for. So for that, I can upload something like this. So I'm going to upload this and then we can generate uh, four different options. So uh, we can test out a batch of options that we want render to create for us. Okay, so these are the result. This is the first one. I actually quite like how this one looks. Uh, it definitely has room for improvement in a few things, but I'm gonna show you how we can edit generated image in just a second. So these are the options that I created for those. This is the second option. This is the third option. And this is the fourth option. I think with this one, this is gonna be the one that we are going to go ahead and actually modify. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click here at edit trender. We're gonna go to select and modify. And what we'll do here is we'll go to edit and we will choose this area, for example. Uh, we can choose a polygonal lasso. So we can click just like this. Uh, let's click over here, uh, over on this corner. Let's close it off here. Boom, boom, boom. And so in this area, I'm gonna basically select which part I want to modify. And right here, I'm going to type in pavement uh, driveway um, asphalt. So then I am just going to generate three different options. Uh, I don't think we need this as an optional add-on, but let's just keep it that way. Uh, and let's see how this modifies our render. So this is very cool because we can generate and test out a few different options that allow us to uh, basically render a lot quicker and make design decisions a lot faster. So this is pretty cool. Let's see all of the different options that this generated for us. Uh, I think we can keep this one. I think this one should be right. And then what we can do here is we can go ahead and even add a car here. So let's go once again at edit render, select to modify, and let's mark this part up. So we're gonna do something like this. We're gonna click done. And now we can go ahead and type in the prompt a uh, car, car park, car in a garage. And this will generate a few different options for us. We can click generate once again, and let's see what the result will be. And as you can see, we can create one render and that does not have to be the final result. It's not like a one click um, and you're done. You can basically go ahead and edit and test as many design options. You can use this as a perfect assistant to help you make design choices quicker and better quality decisions. So this is the result we got here with the car prompt. As you can see, it fits perfectly and it blended it in perfectly. Now what we can do is we can add uh, something like this. We can just brush over the area and we can click done. And then I'm just going to type in a man walking and that's going to be it. And then we're going to generate, generate four images from this. And we're going to see how this turns out. As you can see, we can edit the composition. We can add uh, more objects and we can basically modify everything just by writing prompts, which is so useful and it is so quickly done. And I can imagine how this just boosts workflow forever because the days and times where you wait hours and hours for render to be done are over because now the design process is just a lot smoother and faster with the AI tool uh, like Render. So this is a result that we got from that as well, which I think is just insane how fast this is delivered and how good it actually resembles a prompt that we wrote. Now, one other very cool feature that we have here is that we can go ahead and we can insert and modify. And what this means is that we can get a PNG 
from a online image and we can add it onto our render. So for example, uh, I'm gonna show you how we can do that right here. I'm just gonna take this off and I'm gonna add a completely different image. For example, this is the image that we want to add on like a PNG. And what we can do here is we can just click upload and we can use this tree transparent background. And the good thing about this is that this saves so much time in post-production because we no longer have to blend in the colors, the color correction, the way the lighting comes in, because we can just click done here. And then in just a second, you will be able to see at how render generates and blends in the PNG perfectly with the rest of the render. So as you can see in this image, this is how well it blended everything in. You can see we just added a random PNG and with just uh, a single click, you can see how it transformed and it matched everything to the image that we uploaded here. So this is just great. You can do this with people, with animals, with anything else, not just trees and vegetations. So this is one of the other cool ways that we can use render. Now, another one which I really enjoy is the sketch in context. And what we can do here is we can go ahead, we can click edit, and then we can basically select the facade of the building here. So for example, if you only want to change these part of the materials and not the glass, we can go ahead and do every single corner one by one. Uh, you do not have to be super precise in actually um, selecting the right corners and being super uh, pixel perfect in that sense. So we can just click done. And then right here, we are going to go ahead and we can type in contemporary and modern uh, ventilating facade. Um, so yeah, we can test this out. Let's try four different options and see how this will turn. Wow, so this is actually very cool. I really like this option. We have another options with wood. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is just so cool for getting inspirations and testing design options. You also saw what we did with this just from a screenshot from SketchUp. And I actually really, really like how this turned out. Um, now, one other case that we can use this is we can actually get an image from real life as well. So for example, when you're doing like a renovation or a retrofit or any kind of other thing like that, we can use uh, the same tool. So for example, I'm gonna upload this, this is just an image from uh, the city where I live. Uh, this is a hotel. This is a kind of brutalist hotel. Uh, and basically, I want to see how Rent Air can actually turn a socialist block brutalism uh, kind of hybrid hotel. As you can see, it's starting to modernize here. And let's see how it can turn this whole hotel into a more modern uh, looking design not, not even modern contemporary or even more with sustainable materials so uh, let's test this out we can just select it approximately like this and here in the yeah here at describe the scene I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, turn this into a contemporary uh, design with sustainable materials and make it a sunset scene maybe okay let's see how this will turn out let's click generate i'm super excited to see how this will uh transform a building where i live like 10 minutes away from into something more modern and better looking and obviously you can use it for any other type of case study or any other type of building as well as you can see this is super useful and i think this is revolutionizing and evolving the way that uh, architects create designs so <laughs> this is pretty interesting uh yeah i think this is very interesting oh wow this is also cool i do not like um the the glass so much this is that is like a subjective opinion but the whole generations are so this is very nice so if we just do the comparison uh this is how it was before and this is how render did it after which i think is super super cool and interesting uh yeah i mean this is very useful and i think any architect can find use cases for this in their workflow now uh one last thing that i want to show you is that if you already have created an image through another rendering software what you can do is you can go ahead and upload it and in just a second you will see at how we can enhance it uh make the light bounces look better and also how you can basically make the textures 
appear with more depth, more realistic, add more imperfections and uh, basically enhance the image to a next level quality, even if your render wasn't that great initially. So here's the enhanced image. Uh, this is how it looked before. And this is after, as you can see, it just adds a lot more detail, even to the leather here, even to the wood flooring, and just overall makes the render look a lot better. So if you enjoyed this video, and if you think that all of this is super exciting, you want to implement it onto your workflow, go ahead and try render in the first link in the description.